some more bacon and extra sausage if you fancy it. If I have another bite, I'm going to explode. Ah, so that's what you get the man who has everything for his birthday, eh? Hardened arteries. I got him some very nice aftershave. That's from me. Happy birthday. You didn't have to do that, Sean. It's not what she said. It was either that or Dale Winton, my story. <laughs> Maybe leave that till Christmas, eh? Yeah. Thank you, though. What time are you in court? Half twelve. Yeah, well, at least when it's done, you can put all this behind you. Hmm? It's going to be fine. I know it's going to be. Soon find out. <clears throat> you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a bit worried before, but it's going to be okay. You'll get through it. We both will. I'm fine. Look. Ha ha. Mm. You got a bit of bacon. Mm. Oddly serviced with a smile in here, is it? <laughs> Never is for me. Well, just ignore her. Hopefully she'll go away. So, what are your plans today? Well, I'm going to see if Jason's still got a job for us. Do you think he'll take you back? Yeah, I hope so. I need something around here if I still want to see Faye. And you, obviously. Mm. Unless you're having second thoughts, that is. Mm. I've hardly had time for first thoughts. It's all gone so quick. I reckon it's best like that. Take things as they come, go with the flow. Yeah, me too. Mm. Anyway, I better go see if I can get hold of him. I'll drop by later, all right? Oh, OK. Yeah. Get used to that view, if I were you. Sorry. Oh, him walking away. It's all he's good at. I came in for breakfast, not a lecture. Right, well, that's £8.50, then. What? Oh, he left without paying. I'll be at the counter when you're ready. Your thumbs are gonna drop off if you're not careful. Who are you texting, anyway? Craig? I asked you a question. Texting the chat line to report you for harassment. I'm not harassing you. I'm worried about you. I'm all right. Just leave us alone. You ready? Ooh. Let's see them. Ta da! Oh. Oh. You look lovely. <sighs> Doesn't she look lovely, Carl? Yeah, yeah, great. I can only say it like you mean it. Oh, sorry, I was just looking for my phone, but I do mean it. You look beautiful. Mm, a bit too beautiful, if you ask me. Don't want to be upstage by my own bridesmaid, do I? That, sweetheart, is an impossibility. Oh, well, if it's going to happen, I'm glad it's you and nobody else. I just hope Leanne can make it, you know, what with Nick and everything. Maybe we should... But we've talked about this, and she'll be there, fingers crossed. Well, you can cross your fingers, but I'm not holding my breath. And after the disappearing act you pulled the other day, she's not the only one I'm worrying about. Oh, thanks, Mum, as if I'm not stressed enough. Oh, so I speak my mind. Shoot me. Look, go on the phone the registrar, make another appointment, OK? Oh, when you found your phone. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I've got some other good news. Tez has agreed to be my best man. Oh. Oh, what? I thought you said it was good news. Don't you think you're being a bit over the top about all this? I mean, no offence, but you and Mandy you weren't exactly love's great dream, yeah. Look, I'm not looking for any sympathy here. All I'm saying is I'm not getting any younger, am I? And at this rate, I'll never find the right woman. Oh, Lloyd, listen to me. You're not going to end up like one of those old blokes in a dingy flat and a torn vest. Alone, friendless, eating cat food out of a tin. I never said I was. Hiya. Mm. What's the matter with you two? Oh, it's not me, it's him. Thinks he's gonna die alone. You really know how to make a bloke feel good, don't you? All I said was, the way things are going, I might end up on me Jack Jones. Damn, he's got nothing to worry about. Why? So I felt before I met Paul. See? And now look what's happened. You met Mr Wright. Right? Right. That's what I'm talking about. Leanne? Leanne, have you just come from seeing Nick? Yeah. We're just on our way. Any news? Uh, no change. Look, sorry, I can't stop. I'm late opening up. Well, I'll be in this afternoon, and David said I'll help out once he's done in the salon. Oh, right. Well, tell him thanks, but there's no need, cos I've got cover, and I just need to keep busy. All right, but if you change your mind... Yeah, I'll let you know. Come on, let's get going. Carl, I've left you free texts. Why haven't you called me back? I thought you wanted to help me. Oh, hello, young Craig. Where are you off to? Just into town. Same as me. <laughs> Bit of retail therapy, as they say. Uh, do you mind if I sit down? Free country. I've got a tax bill at home that says different. <laughs> oh, Carl. We're 
were just called. Delivery's on its way. Oh, yeah, right. Come in. Oh, flaming crossword. I don't know why I bother. Oh, come on, don't get too down. See what I did there? <laughs> Look what I picked up in town. How did it go? Well, 100 hours community service and 60 quid costs. Hey, you wish we hit him twice now. I'll hit you in a minute. And I know what you're going to say, it could have been worse, but uh, not exactly the best birthday present I've ever had. And I still don't know what's going to happen about work, what they're going to do. So. Well, there's no point worrying about it now. Anyway, have you decided what you're going to do with the lads tonight? Don't know. I think we're just going into town. There's only me and, and Colin, I think, so. Well, that's not much of a turnout for your birthday. What's happened to the others? Working. Saving lives and making the world a safer place. Are you serious? <laughs> what about you two? What about us? Well, you're not working tonight, because you told me earlier. Eileen. No, I no, don't... no, just hear me out. You and Lloyd have been tiptoeing around each other for weeks. It's driving me up the wall. So, why don't you go out, get drunk, talk about football or whatever it is you talk about when you're off the leash and sort it out? Back me up, Steve. Well, the uh, getting drunk bit sounds good. I'm game if you are. <sighs> what time? Don't know. Five, here. Yeah. Well, I'll see you then. Nice one. See you later. I know it won't be easy. Just as long as you know why I'm doing it. I do. Thanks. Hey, love, what can I get you? What? I'm just offering to, you know, make you a drink, seeing as I'm stood here and all that. Oh, I'll have a builder's tea. Ooh, builder's tea. It won't last, you know. You've been nice to us a lot. Give it a few weeks, you'll be barking orders, throwing your weight around. Nah, that's not my style. Trust me, I've seen it happen. Power does terrible things to people. Look at Simon Cowell. <laughs> you reckon she fancies the chances? What? Beth? She's giving Peter the glad eye. Oh, don't tell me you're jealous. <laughs> Behave. No, it's just it's good to see him getting on with a girl, that's all. Mind you, I know he would. He's pretty laid back, isn't he? Most of the time. Yes, well, knowing how to run a factory and being popular are two very different things, aren't they? I'm aware of that. I was just making an observation. Yeah, so was I. You OK, mate? Never better. You're doing that sarcasm thing again, aren't you? Well, I'm not exactly looking forward to a night out with you-know-who. Yeah, but like you said, you're not doing it for you-know-who. You're doing it for early now, aren't you? <sighs> All right, sir. Gentlemen. Been shopping, have you? Indeed, I have. Check out. This little beauty. It's very eye-catching. Looks expensive and all. Oh, I thought I'd spoil myself. It's my uh, 50th birthday tomorrow. Ooh, don't look a day over 49. <laughs> Planning a big night out? Tomorrow? No, uh, me and Julie thought we'd have an intimate night in if you catch my drift. <laughs> Although, I'd be up for an ale or two this evening, if you like. Oh, I'd love to, but we can't. Yeah, we're going into town with Paul and a couple of his mates. Paul the racist? I think it prefers Paul the Fireman. Yeah, that's where we're going out, really. A couple of drinks, spray the hatchet. Very commendable. Maybe I should come along, too. Why? Well, if you're prepared to forgive his transgressions, then so am I. That's very big of you, Brian. I know. So what time are we meeting? Back here, five. It's a date. And I might wear my new shirt. Well, <laughs> wear some trousers and all. <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm trying to work out whether I've just made things better or worse. Oh! All right, for some. Oh. Did you finish that delivery? Yes, madam. All in the cellar. Oh, thanks, love. Oh, by the way, I found your film. Where? Well, it was in my handbag. I must have put it in there by mistake. I got a few missed calls. Who from? Oh, I don't know. Didn't check. <laughs> Probably Tez. Oh, brilliant. Why don't you come and get me? Why? What's the matter? Nothing. I'll sort it. Carl! Said I'll sort it. Hiya. Hello, darling. You're back quick. 
They haven't fired you again, have they? No, they've not fired me. Carl has let me go early, so I can help out the bistro. Oh, you're like me, you are. Give, give, give. Oh, will you give it a rest? You haven't seen Carl on your way over, have you? No, why? They've had a row. We have not had a row. What's up? Oh, forget it. They've had a row. <sighs> This is more like it, eh, lads? <laughs> Us four, dressed to kill, hitting the town, chucking up the ladies. <laughs> what ladies? Well, I, I, I thought the bus driver earlier was rather attractive, and she gave me a big smile when we alighted. Surprise wearing that shirt. <laughs> it's the mystery of it, though, that I find really intoxicating, the promise of not knowing where this evening will hold for us all. I'm just hoping for a few beers and a kebab myself. <laughs> hey, listen, talking about beers, where's that? Pub was supposed to be meeting your mates in. It's not far now. You said that five minutes ago. Didn't know you were in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. I am thirsty. Uh, I thought they were supposed to be burying the hatchet. His teething problems be fine. Hey, we just got back. Yeah. Well, is there anything I should know then? What? I'll tell you if there was. It's no different. I'm sorry. Yeah, you and me both. Oh. At least you've had a bit of good news. Oh, you what? We're trading standards this water damn booze business. The only reason they're not going ahead with it is because Nick's in a coma. I'd hardly call that a result. Do you want me to do No, that? I can manage. Don't take it personally. I'm not. I just wish there was something I could do. Well, you're here. That's something. God, this place has changed. I'm guessing not for the better. <laughs> Used to be a nice little boozer. Well, we'll have one here and then uh, wait for your mates to go somewhere else, eh? Well, watch where you're going, fat boy. Don't let him talk to you like that, huh? Right, see you in the morning, bright and early. Set me alarm already, I'm that excited. <laughs> OK, I'm off to this Dawson's meeting. You pair going to be long? Uh, I've just got a few things to finish. Yeah, on me. Oh. All right, then. Be good. Bye. I'll try. Bye, love. So, after a promotion already, are you? She's trying to pull me weight, that's all. Hmm. And why bother? It's not like she's going to fire you, is it? You really don't like me being here, do you? Oh, no, I never said that. But. Come on, but. Well, it has all sort of been handed to you on the plate, hasn't it? You reckon? Michelle, a couple of months back, I had my own business, OK? All right, I know that it wasn't exactly flourishing, but it was mine. And now look at me. All right, I know I'm working, but basically I'm a kept man. You know, I can't even pay for my own wedding. How do you think that makes me feel? Not good. No, not good. You know, so for my own pride, if nothing else, I have to know what I'm doing. I have to put in the hours. You know, and that does not mean that in any way I am trying to edge you out or take your job. OK? OK. Good. Hiya. Well, this looks fun. What are you doing? Sitting here, thinking. Eileen, God invented the telly so that we didn't have to do that. Paul gone into town? Yeah. Steve and Lloyd have gone with him, trying to put an end to this stupid feud, hopefully, anyway. He's not been the easiest person to get along with lately. Mm. I have overheard a few raised voices from you two, especially when I've got a glass pressed up against the wall. Mm. The stuff we don't talk about that worries me. What do you mean? Remember when you were at school and you used to pick teams for, like, netball, football? Yeah, I was always picked last. Right after the kid with the coat bottle glasses. Well, that's sort of how it is with Paul. I'm never his first choice. Does that sound needy and selfish? No, not at all. That's the whole point of being with somebody, so that you do feel special. Well, that's something I haven't felt for a long time. Hey, cheers, sir. Stop calling me that. Where's Paul? Though he's gone to phone his mates, find out where they are. Well, wherever it is, it's got to be better than this place. Just come on, bro. What's it like then, eh? Half a century in. Any worries or regrets as you... Look back along that long, long corridor of time. <laughs> Not really. Although it's a lot easier than when I turned the big 4 oh, That was a nightmare. No, my friends, life is good. Yeah, love comes. 
One word. Viagra. <laughs> Julie. The woman of my dreams. The woman who I want to spend the rest of my life with. Uh, what's left of it? What do you mean? Well, I'm just saying, you know, it's a shame you didn't meet her ten years earlier. I never thought of it like that. You really are a little ray of sunshine tonight, aren't you? Where's your mates? Not coming. So what's up with your mates then? Cat stuck up a tree. Kid with his head in a saucepan. Well, they've just been here before. I don't think it's the pub they've got a problem with. Where are you getting it? They didn't say it in so many words, but I don't think they're comfortable being with me. No, no. You know, Ed. Apparently I'm a racist. <laughs> oh, I wonder when we get to this again. Let's change the subject. And up who hates Norris. Lloyd. I'm sorry for bringing it up, all right? I might lose my job over this, so... Uh, your problem, mate, not mine. Oh, well, thanks for your support. What do you want? A pat on the back? Yeah, well, why don't you take the chip off your shoulder here? It's like... Oh, so I'm getting a bit uppity for you now, am I? Oh, unbelievable. I'll tell you what is unbelievable. Me letting Eileen guilt trip me into coming here with you tonight. Yeah, well, you know where the door is. I didn't invite you, mate. You all right, pal? What? Just wondered if you needed a hand. We're fine. I weren't talking to you. Oh, do you know what stuff this? I am out of here. All right. Yeah, fine. Not sure about him, though. Brian, you all right, mate? Ten years I've wasted. Ten years. There you go. Oh. When he said, did I fancy a drink, I thought you met in the Rovers. Oh, we can go after if you want to. No glasses? Ah, uh, glasses mean washing up, which means less time for us to have a drink and enjoy ourselves. I'm thinking of you here, Sal. Mm, I'm touched. Play a card right, you will be. Take more than a can of beer. <laughs> you better sub up then. How did it go with Jason? Brilliant. Got my job back, start tomorrow. How did you manage that? Well, I just used my natural charm, and when that failed, I begged him. <laughs> That's great. I'm pleased. For you, obviously. Faye, come and get oh, down with this hang washing, on. darling. Hi, love. Hi, Dad. She working you hard? I'm not even on minimum wage. Oh, maybe this will help. Uh, we don't need your money, thank you very much. Uh, I do. Oh, come on. I'm in a good mood. I've got my old job back. Why can't I spoil her a bit? Because I don't want to spoil, thank you very much. Everything all right? Oh, <laughs> well, I see he's got you well trained. Better than the service in the cafe. Least from you, anyway. Come on, Tim, let's go sit in the conservatory. Hey, babe, anywhere around here you can buy cigarettes? Nearest place is about ten minutes' walk. Oh, I can't make it that far, not with these lungs. <laughs> maybe it's time to quit. You know what, maybe it is. Look, look at it this way, right? Isn't it better that you met Julie now rather than in another ten years? Fifty or sixty, I mean, what's the difference? The best years are behind me. I'm practically a walking cadaver. Oh. Look, let's face it, tonight's a total disaster. Fancy getting off? I might have one more. Why? Uh, no, no, come on, Brian, let's not cramp his style. With any luck, we might get the same bus driver. Ooh. Isn't it? What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. What are you talking about? Well, maybe you are. What's going on? <sighs> What's up with him, apart from the obvious? I don't know. 
Let's see if his mum knows. Come on. So, what happened to your mates? Ah, we were supposed to have a birthday night out, but it never happened. So I gathered. Sorry about that. Well, I'm not. You serving or what? What do you want? Lager. And black. <laughs> if that's all right with everyone. Oh, look, I'm getting off, but, um... Here's my card. So if you ever need a cab or fancy a bite to eat or whatever... Whatever. Sounds interesting. Well, call me, then. Where have you been? Oh, oh that's what I had to do. What, more important than helping out behind the bar? Where's that? She's just gone out with that young lad. What young lad? Oh, I don't know. That that Beth's kid. Huh, Craig? What, what was he doing here? I don't know. She found him in the ginnel and he was upset about something, so she's taken him home. Back in a bit. Where are you going now? Hey, this pub doesn't run itself, you know. Can I just get past, lads? No, mate. Look, I don't know what the problem is. It's your lot that's the problem. My lot? Are you joking? And Coronation Street continues in half an hour.